Welcome to another Power Pivot screencast. My name is Michelle Hart and I'm a technical writer for Microsoft. In this video, I'll show you how to build a pivot chart using Power Pivot data. Once I've imported data into my Power Pivot workbook, pivot charts help me efficiently summarize, analyze, explore, and present my data. Changes I make to the layout and data in the associated pivot tables are immediately reflected in the layout and data in the pivot chart. I'm starting with a Power Pivot workbook I created in a previous video. It already has my data imported, relationships created, and a pivot table. Now I'd like to add a pivot chart to support my previously created pivot table. In the Power Pivot Home ribbon, I click the Pivot Table button. Be sure to create the pivot chart from the Power Pivot ribbon. There is also a pivot table button on the Excel ribbon, but Excel pivot charts cannot use data from a Power Pivot window. Select Pivot Chart. Click Existing Worksheet. You can type a range in the field here, or simply click the cell and then OK. Excel adds an empty pivot chart to the location I specified and displays the Power Pivot task pane. The task pane contains two sections, a field list at the top for adding and removing fields, and a section at the bottom for rearranging and repositioning fields. Select the empty pivot chart. If you get an error message telling you the data list is no longer valid, right-click the chart and select Refresh Data. In the Fact Sales table, select the Total Profit field. In the Product Category table, select Product Category Name. The pivot chart shows a visual representation of Contoso profits by category. This is interesting, but I'd like to see this as a two-dimensional pie chart. So I select the Design tab in the Pivot Chart Tools group and click Change Chart Type. I apply the settings and then resize the pivot chart. I continue to customize my pie chart by editing the title and labels. This is a simple analysis of my data. To dig deeper, I'll add measures, calculations, and slicers, all of which are covered in separate videos. To delete a pivot chart, simply click inside the pivot chart and press delete. Deleting the pivot chart does not delete the associated pivot table report. Now that you know how to add a pivot chart to a Power Pivot workbook, I recommend viewing the other Power Pivot video tutorials. For more information on pivot charts and for help with other Power Pivot tasks, please visit us online and check back as we continually add new documentation and videos. Thank you for viewing this tutorial.